This ain't Troy Aikman, this ain't Tony Romo, this isn't Charles Barkley. This is a guy that throughout his NFL and college career carried himself like a thug, courted that image that he was about that life. And Aqib Tlaib told Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network, I believe earlier today or last night, that he is stepping away from uh, the Amazon broadcasting deal and all the media has put out the story. I'm looking at headlines from the New York Post to keep to leave to step away from Thursday night football job after brother's murder charge. Uh, MS NBC News, ex NFL Akib Tlaib stepping back from Thursday night football. Uh, TMZ Akib Tlaib stepping away from Amazon NFL job after brother charged with murder. Everybody's talking about Akib Tlaib stepping away. And <clears throat> No one, again, obviously, Amazon isn't talking, and, and this all feels organized, that Aqib Tlaib, Ian Rappaport tweeted out that he just talked to Aqib Tlaib and he's stepping away. This all feels like a negotiated exit or hitting pause on a broadcasting career that Aqib Tlaib and perhaps Amazon and other TV networks and other media outlets hope uh, continues. And again, this is the way that the elite, Aqib Tlaib made $70 million during his NFL career, Aqib Tlaib worked for Fox Sports and had a job with Amazon, and this is how the elite take care of each other. And it doesn't matter what they do, they'll always take care of each other. And so if anybody else, again, as we talked about last week, if Richie Incognito, if his brother, or if he had been involved in any way with a murder, in any way, instigating the fight, given Richie Incognito's background, uh, there's no way this would be rolled out as he's stepping away and how everybody is being careful with how they portray Aqib Tlaib in this situation. Only the elite, only the pampered, only the people that have joined in in the, in my opinion, satanic plot, uh, who's on board with that message, gets taken care of this way. Let's say uh, this were me, because again, this isn't a, a black thing, this is about are you on message? Do you represent the values that corporate culture supports? Are you part of the satanic plot? So he's not being taken care of because he's black, he's being taken care of because they like the way he has represented himself his entire career. He's represented himself on the field as a thug. He, he's done that, his history says that. There's plenty of video of Aqib Tlaib instigating, involving themselves in on-field conflicts. There's plenty of information. The Dallas Morning News, again, this is all part of, of, of how people are taken care of if they're on message. And Gene Taylor, who I used to be friends with, very solid journalist, he wrote a piece for the Dallas Morning News that I, th I thought went out of its way uh, to downplay although the headline is, is about as aggressive as the corporate media can get. To lead brothers bullying was problem before youth coaches death. Gotta give the Dallas Morning News credit. That's about as aggressive as anybody in the mainstream corporate media is going to get. But the story takes a long winding road. You gotta read the whole story to, before you get to the fact that eyewitnesses say that Tlaib was the instigator of the entire conflict. So I just, he has stepped away from football. Amazon didn't have the balls to fire him or they cut some sort of deal. We'll let you walk away rather than fire you because again, they want an opportunity for Tlaib to come back into the broadcasting booth. There, there is, again, why is he this valuable? Seriously, Aqib Tlaib. Very good NFL career. Probably has an argument for the Hall of Fame, five-time Pro Bowler, 
uh, you know, Super Bowl champion with the Denver Broncos on very good New England Patriots teams. Uh, probably has an argument, but does he deserve this kind of kid glove treatment, this kind of support he's getting from corporate media? Is he so valuable in the broadcast booth? Is he so good in the broadcast booth? This ain't Troy Aikman, this ain't Tony Romo, this isn't Charles Barkley. This is a guy that throughout his NFL and college career carried himself like a thug, courted that image that he was about that life. Why is corporate media bending over backwards for him? That should tell you about where corporate media is. They are in support of wickedness and evil and debauchery and criminality.